Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about the Allegro PCB Designer Team Design option, um, and this is the Team Design Dashboard, or the Workflow Manager. And it's a way to manage all the data that the, the Team Design option is going to give you. Um, so once you've got your, par your partitions on there, let's just create another one. So if you just go Design Partition, we'll create a partition. I'll just draw one over this kind of section. We'll call it uh, Channels. I've now got the option to kind of go to the workflow manager. So let's go and look at the workflow manager. So you get a list of effectively the master design, the different partitions that we have inside the design. Uh, and this has all been done by the master designer. Um, we've got a silk screen top and bottom. So you can, and this is done automatically. This allows um, an individual user to to work on just the silk screen layers. You can see kind of the, the, the user that's working on it, the start and stop layers. Um, the status so if we would uh, export one of these this then becomes exported and then if somebody actually opens that this becomes then in progress um, and you've got a percentage of placed and rooted you've got percentage wise um, there's notes that can be appended um, there's some options down here that the master designer has control of so you've got things like um, editing constraints which allows people to actually go into constraint manager and make changes based on the, the partitions they've got the soft boundaries where so they can actually work beyond the boundary line that's been set by the master designer and it's up to the master designer to kind of d define these objects or these options before he exports the the dpf file for the for the designer to go and work on so quite a useful place and then obviously when you import data this would then get updated so the master designer always has an idea of, of what the status of his design is